it's important for them to see each other physically. Obviously, they saw each other last year in Bali, but uh, but important to continue those lines of communication. But I think the the narrative and then and the overall the sentiment around the relationship is challenged, given that elections are coming up in the U.S. Right. We need stability. We need predictability. And uh, again, I I think that China, to its credit, has been fairly good about taking on board criticism, constructive criticism, when it comes to improvements around the economy and in infrastructure around it. So those need to be, be improved to help global investor sentiment. Well, this has always been a gateway to Asia for, for yes. the West and for the United States particularly, and there's a huge number of Chinese entrepreneurs right. uh, that have been educated here, started businesses here, and still continue to build cross-border, and we need to encourage more of that cross-border business development. Some, some business leaders are there, and I mean, I had a conversation with Elon Musk who yeah. reiterated that their success in China is predicated upon his ability to go to the market frequently and really engage and get to know it and, 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 and speak with the regulators. I, you know, I think, again, a lot of this soft power and human-to-human -human is critical. Um, encouraging, again, American students to come, making it a very user-friendly gateway to bring them back to the country. Um, it's critical to develop that next generation of Americans that understand at least the conditions on the ground in China. They don't have to agree with anything that's going on, mm. but they have to at least understand it firsthand. Mm.